Hello and welcome to the answer series Grade 12 Mass Literacy video on Income Tax Part 3. These videos will be based on the answer series Grade 12 Mass Literacy 3-in-1 Study Guide. As we progress through the slides, you can keep track of where we are in the book by looking at the page number reference tag here. So let's get started. The aim of Income Tax Part 3 is to practice calculating the monthly income tax, UIF, total deductions, and net income. Let's recap the income tax terminology that we have learned so far. So, let's start. Income tax, this is the tax that is charged on your annual income. Then, we looked at gross income, which is the income that you receive before any deductions. Deductions, these are expenses that are subtracted from your gross income. Typical examples include UIF, pay as you earn, medical aid, and pension fund contributions. Then our net income, this is our income that is calculated by taking our gross income and deducting any deductions. Then we have our tax rebate, and this is tax relief that SARS gives us based on age. Should you want a refresher on pay slips, which go through this income tax terminology, please turn to your Grade 12 Mass Literacy 3-in-1 book, Module 3 Finance, Unit 1, Financial Documents, and you will find it on page 67 to 68. All right, exercise one. Turn to page 111 in the answer series, Grade 12 Mass Literacy 3-in-1 book, Worked Examples, Income Tax. Pause the video and complete question 1.1. When you're ready, play the video to work through the answers and to see tips. So, question 1.1. We are given a pay slip and from it, we can read that Solly earned a basic salary of 18,090 Rand. Then they have asked us to calculate the monthly income tax, which is A. So for this, we need to remember and work through all the steps that we learned in the previous video. Step one, let's calculate the annual salary. So for this, we're going to take his monthly salary of 18,090 Rand, times it by 12 months, and we get an annual salary of 217,080 Rand. Right, step two, let's calculate his tax bracket. So when we look at the tax table, we can see that Solly's annual salary falls within tax bracket two. 174,000, Rand to 272,700 Rand. So his annual salary falls within this bracket, which is tax bracket two. Then step three, let's calculate his rate of tax. So based on the tax table, they tell us that he'll be taxed a flat amount of 31,419 Rand, and then 25%, so 25 over 100, of his income that is above the 174,550 Rand. So to calculate that amount above, what we're going to do is we're going to take his annual salary of 217 and 80,000 Rand minus the threshold. And the difference between that, he will then be taxed the 25%. So the difference between that is 42,530 Rand. So when we calculate 25% of that, we get 10,632 Rand and 50 cents. And when we add our flat tax rate, we then get a total of 42,051 Rand and 50 cents per annum. So that is his rate of tax. So just a quick recap, we were given the basic salary, 
Then we calculated in the previous slide his rate of tax and where are we going? They are asking for his monthly income tax. So we keep going. Step four, let's look at the rebates, total rebates. So Solly only qualifies for the primary rebate because of his age and that gives us 12,726 Rand as his rebate. Then, step five, let's calculate his annual income tax. So for this, we need to take the rate of tax, which we calculated above, 42,051 Rand and 50 cents, minus his rebate, which we've just found on the table, at 12,726 Rand, and we get an annual income tax of 29,325 Rand and 50 cents per annum. But they've asked us for his monthly income tax. So our last step, step six, is to calculate the monthly income tax. And for this, we're going to take the annual income tax. And you guessed it, you did it, divided by 12 months, which gives me the answer for A, of 2,443 Rand and 79 cents. Super! Exercise 2. Turn to page 112 in the answer series, Grade 12 Mass Literacy 3 in 1 book, Worked Examples, Income Tax. Pause the video, complete questions 1.2 to 1.4, and when you're ready, play the video to work through the answers and to see tips. So, in question 1.2, again, we are given the basic salary and the question says calculate the UIF. So, you should remember UIF is equal to 1% of your gross salary. So, if we calculate that, we get 1% of 18,090 Rand and that gives me a UIF contribution of 180 Rand and 90 cents. The answer for B. Question 1.3. We're given a basic salary. Now, off the pay slip, you can also read his medical aid contribution and his pension fund contribution. In the previous question, 1.1, we calculated his monthly income tax and in 1.2, the UIF contribution value. Question, calculate total deductions which is C. So we know to calculate our total deductions, we're going to take our income tax plus medical aid plus pension plus UIF. So let's do it. And we get income tax of 2,443 Rand, medical aid 772, pension fund 415 Rand, and UIF of 180 Rand and 90 cents. So total deductions, total 3,811 Rand and 69 cents. That's the answer for C. Great. Question 1.4. We are given the gross income. We have calculated in 1.3 his total deductions. And now they are asking us for his net pay, which is D. So our net pay is equal to our gross income minus our total deductions. And we get that 18.090 minus the total deductions of 3811,69, which gives a net pay of 14,278 Rand and 31 cents. That is D. Great. So now that we have practiced calculating the monthly income tax, UIF, total deductions, and net pay, it is time to test your understanding. You need to consolidate by practicing. Remember to write down the key facts at the start of a question and always check that your answer makes sense and that you've answered the questions. So let's do it. Turn to page 113 and 116 in your answer series book and complete questions 6 and 8. Once you've completed that, 
Check your answers on page A18. Thank you for joining us for this Grade 12 Maths Literacy video. We here at the Answer Series look forward to guiding you through the rest of your Grade 12 Maths Literacy curriculum. So, see you soon! If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.